And finally, the rise of robots at the workplace doesn't necessarily mean that jobs will be lost. In fact, new positions for humans like robot coordinators are being created. And here's more from the first Singapore International Robo Expo. This outdoor security robot can be used to patrol large areas such as MRT depots and shipyards and feeds coverage of its surroundings to a control room. The robot is like a moving CCTV that's on the job all the time, right? You still need a human, like a security officer, to determine what is important, what is the friend or foe when they see a particular image or a particular intruder. It could be your own workers going around. In Singapore's tight labour market, robotics is used to ease manpower constraints. They are traditionally employed in the manufacturing industry, but other sectors are also coming on board to use social robots. We were seeing deployments in the F&B space and hospitality, with of course the possibility of expanding into uh, other areas like preschool and uh, healthcare. However, the high cost of buying a robot and lack of support services makes it difficult for companies to adopt them. When you buy a car, when you buy an air, uh, air conditioner, uh, you will be able to go and find certain companies out there that can support you. However, if you invest in a robot, after the first year of warranty, you may not be able to find sufficient companies out there that can service your robots. The expo brings together innovative robotics and automation solutions from around the globe. The aim is to share industry best practices and build Singapore's expertise. And that's News 5. Have a great night ahead.